What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So everyone is sweating right now even though it's early in Wrath of the Lich King roll online and trying to grind stuff out. And uh, right now Blizzard just dropped a really big bomb on us. Like I think it's going to change a lot of markets for a very long time. So we're going to take a look at the news. First though, massive thank you to all of you who have picked up the complete gold guide for Rat of the Lich King Classic. The support, even before the expansion was out, was insane and all of your positive feedback. So I really do appreciate that. If you haven't grabbed it yet, you can use code Rat of the Lich King and you will get it for 50% off. So that's going to be linked down below in the comment section. And this video is going to be very short because the only news we have are these, but they're big, right? Uh, so this is a blue post, and this blue post says the following. The northern adventuring supplies now have a chance to ward ore, leather, cloth, herbs, and gems. Reduce the number of consumables awarded from the supplies. Right, we received feedback that the bonus rods requests were too frequent, too lucrative, and too targeted at consumables produced by alchemists and are like changes to reduce quantity, increase the diversity of items. Buy these back. Like, it, it was insane. If you guys don't know what these is, basically, every single time you finish, like, a storyline quest in a zone, you get a bag. And this bag contained a million flasks, pots, elixirs, scrolls. They pretty much screwed al alchemists over because you got so many of them. Like, I have a bank full of these because I'm level 80 and I've done most of the quests. Uh, but now, instead, you're going to get less consumables... And they've also added materials to them, which is, and gems, which is huge. Because these, they didn't change the amount you're getting. You're still getting as many. So now instead, we're going to make uh, a lot of gold on it, right? That's what people think. But uh, you guys saw what happened when you could get the flasks and the pots out of it. When the uh, supply is way bigger than the demand, they're almost at vendor cost. Obviously... You shouldn't sell any of these consumables and scrolls uh, right now. Just store it in the bank because once the majority is done leveling and people actually need them for when raids are out, they're going to go up in value. But right now, it's going to be very interesting to see uh, just how much ore, leather, cloth, and herbs and all of that we're going to get from these boxes. You also get them uh, whenever you're uh, doing a heroic as a tank or a healer. You also get like a one of these... Uh, uh, supplies and they can also uh, give you other stuff like battle pets or not battle pets companions and, and also rare mounts uh, so um uh, it's going to be extremely interesting to see what happens to the prices of like cobalt ore and serenite and all of that when you can just get it from these uh these bags so me personally uh i don't really care like i really really don't as long as it's more spread out like to me this is a good change because right now you're pretty much just getting elixirs and scrolls, right? Like, like that's it. Uh, but now with this change, it's a chance of getting leather, cloth, uh, herbs, and gems. Like, it's going to be way more spread out because that's going to be on top of the consumables uh, that you used to get, which the flasks and the elixirs and so on. So uh, it's going to be easier to sell it, and price is going to be more stable, uh, like, all around. So I think this is a great change. I really do. Uh, but let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And that was pretty much it for today's very short video. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll be notified of all of the, uh, the best gold farms in the expansion. And also great news like this one. But until uh, the next video of the day, see you then. Thanks for watching and bye bye.